Hey guys, it's me Tolha. So I recently came across this exhibition hall design project on the internet and I thought about doing a video about how to model this kind of design in Revit. So there you have it, another massing in Revit tutorial. Before I get started, I would like to let you know about my online courses website. If you are interested in learning advanced modeling in Revit and if you want to support my work, you can join my Patreon and get access to all my project files. Now let's get started. So here I'm in Revit and as usual first we are going to create some new levels. So let's select this one and press CS on the keyboard to create similar. And I'm going to create two more of these at uh, 10 feet each. So our levels are now ready. Let's go back to level one and uh, I'm going to use in place mass to create this uh, shape or, or this design so let's go to massing inside and here first i will uh, turn on mass by clicking show mass here and then let's click in place mass and i'm just going to leave it mass one here and click ok and now here first i'm going to create a couple of reference planes so let's select plane from here reference plane and i'm going to create uh, two of these here Let's select this one and name it A and the other one should be reference plane B. Perfect. Now let's make sure the distance between these two. I'm going to make it 10 feet. Perfect. Now let's go back to the south elevation. Now let's create the profile to create a form here. So I'm going to use spline to create the curves. And once I click on that, this work plane dialog box pops up. You just need to uh, set the work plane to reference plane A. Now click OK and uh, let's create a curve shape maybe from here. Something like this. Let's just ad adjust the curve a little bit on this side as well. So here as well. So we have created something like this. Now uh, we want to change the work plane and this time we'll set it to reference plane B and I will create another shape here this one will be a little smaller so I'm going to use spline again and we'll create from here like this let's adjust the curve using these points so we got something like this now we can use this tool to create a form but before that I'm just going to create a copy of this one so we can use it later on to create other part of this uh, facade design so let's press C O to copy I'm going to leave it here and let's go to 3D and create a form out of uh, these two uh, splines here so let's select both of these and I'm going to click create form here there you go if I change the visual style to shade it by pressing SD on the keyboard we'll be able to see this form perfect now let's create the other part of this uh, design so let's go back to level one and create a line here so let's select line from here and I'm just going to draw a 130 feet line here let's go back to 3d and I'm going to copy this line to the other level here so let's go here and click copy to clipboard and then from this drop down select uh, align to selected levels select level 4 here click ok there you go now we can use these two lines to create the form so let's select both of these and click create form and we'll get these three options we want to create a flat surface so I'm going to select this one there you go now we can use this profile to cut it uh, this this uh, flat surface which we have just created so let's go back to south elevation and i'm just going to close this profile here so let's select line before then we need to make sure the reference plane is set on the same uh, work plane as this uh, curve so let's select set work plane if you remember we have created this curve on reference plane a and here also reference plane a uh, it's already selected so we can just click ok and draw a line let's go to 3d see 
got this complete uh, profile here now let's select these two and create a form just click outside we need uh, an extrusion here since we want to cut it so but we want uh, the extrusion to be on that side because these two are already on the same reference plane so let's use this arrow and drag it to the other side and okay i made a mistake we actually needed to create a white form instead of the normal one so let's repeat that again select both of these and this time we will not click create form instead we'll just click this drop down and select white form perfect now let's use this uh, arrow and just drag it to the other side and we can just select all go to front view and just move it using this point and place that here perfect now we can cut this void so select cut from here cut geometry select this void and then this form there you go we got this cool looking shape here now i'm going to use the curtain system to create the aluminum uh, slats for this facade so let's click finish mask first and then go to architecture and here we have curtain system let's select that and first i'm going to edit this let's create a duplicate we want to create two different uh, curtain systems because we want to use a different uh, material for this part for this curve so uh, let's first create a duplicate of this i'm going to call it aluminium slats let's add c for the curve reference let's click ok and the grid one should be fixed distance and the spacing should be one and a half inch because i want to use a one inch slat uh, or the mullion so we will get this half an, half an inch gap uh, between each uh, slat now we don't need grid two let's make it none and in the grid one mullions we are going to use a one inch square which we get by default now click ok and to create this we just need to select the face and then click create system here okay we are getting this error that the driven grid lines to exceed uh, the maximum allowed numbers so we have more than 200 uh, grid lines in the same direction i guess so to fix this we need to divide this surface so let's click cancel and we need to go back to edit mode again select this uh, form edit in place and to divide this surface we need to uh, just select the face just hover over this line and hit tab key to highlight the face and uh, these buttons will show up here we need to select add edge just add some edges to this form we are basically dividing this surface so we can easily add a curtain system to the, each of these faces so i think this should be enough and let's repeat that with this face as well select the face by pressing tab key and then okay uh, i think i only selected the lines so we need to hit tab key three times to highlight the face until we see uh, this add edge option so you see this face is now selected we can click add an edge and add the edges here so we won't get that error again i think it's divided but the lines are not showing up here so let's click finish mask go to architecture select curtain system and select this face make sure you have selected the curtain system which we have uh, created earlier then click create system there you go we got this uh, aluminum slats here now if i zoom in you see we still have this glass so to remove that we need to go back to edit properties and here in the curtain panel just make it none so we don't see this glass here just click ok there you go now let's quickly repeat this with the other faces as well so select curtain system from here and then uh, select the face and create system let's do that with this one as well you can select multiple faces but sometimes we get an error when we try to create 
uh, this curtain system so we'll not be able to know which face is actually causing that error so that's why I'm just uh, doing this uh, one by one on each face here so let's select this one create system and let's do that with this one so as I said we are getting this error one or more reference references of the highlighted elements have become invalid so to fix this you just need to increase the gap between the slats a little bit uh, so let's click edit type and uh, let's create a duplicate of this and it should be uh, curve 2 and we'll just increase the grid spacing here let's try 2 inch only for this part click ok and select this face and click uh, create system there you go we got uh, the slats on this uh, face as well and let's change it back to the previous one and then select this face click create system now we'll just uh, quickly repeat that with this face here as well so select curtain system and for this one I'm, I want to apply a different material so that's why I will uh, create a duplicate of this again so let's click duplicate we'll just add two here for the reference I will show you how you can change the color for this slats later on so first let's create the slats here you see it seems like it it's just a single surface but it actually divided uh, for some reasons the lines are not showing up here but if I hover over, over the edge and uh, click you see only this part got selected now let's click create system and repeat that with the other parts here as well on this face I think here we can uh, we don't have any curve or something so uh, there is a less chance to get an error so I will select multiple faces here and try to create system perfect we got this cool looking facade design here now let's quickly hide the edges so we can see it clearly uh, in the graphic display options we just want to uncheck show edges for now let's click ok there you go it's looking a lot better now uh, to change the color of this uh, we need to edit this uh, mullions so let's hover over this mullion hit tab key a couple of times select the mullion click edit type and actually we are unable to create a duplicate here so, so we can go to the families here in the properties browser let's right click search one inch click next so we got that rectangular one inch square mullion here let's right click duplicate and I'm going to call it one inch two for the reference of this and just double click it to open up the properties uh, dialog box here and then in the material parameter you can just change the material we'll just create a duplicate of this aluminium two make sure to duplicate uh, the material here as well duplicate this asset and then we can just add the color just for this one I think I'll choose this one click OK and we need to replace this uh, these slats so select this edit type and here we need to select the one which we have just created so let's select that from here click ok and to change the color of this curved mullions we need to create another copy here so right click duplicate and this will be for curve let's double click it and here i'm just going to change the material of this and let's replace these mullions here and if i change the visual style to realistic there you go we got different color for both of these so we have created this cool looking facade design here and to create the curtain wall you can just simply draw a curtain wall and then just edit profile and follow this curve and just add the grid lines and that's it so it was very really simple so i just uh, fast forwarded that part 
so that's all i wanted to share with you guys today i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrepeatonline.com to get my rapid advanced courses as well as you can check out my patreon to get all my Revit project files and yeah i will see you guys in the next video